Hey everyone, Lakehart here, and today I'm going to be drawing two of my characters, starting with Thorn, and the next one will be Jack. So, Thorn is one of the gods of, our, of my universe. He is the god of war, and a bit about the gods, since that's a great thing for me to talk about, I feel like, is they are, obviously they are all immortal, but they are all, they are all one big family. It is the main two gods, life and death. They are the original gods, with each of their children being sets of twins with there being an opposite. Like, there's war and peace are two of- are Thorn and his twin sister, the goddess of peace. They're pretty cool. Thorn's very much a just, like, kind of a go-with-the-flow type character. Not really a what you would expect from the god of war, but he's very much like, yo, I'm down to clown with whatever. Um, he- he- the god of war is actually the patron god of werewolves, which is what Luke and Zen both are. So, he spends a lot of times in the kingdom of Wolfbane, just hanging out, t- talk, making fun of the king, normal things for a teenager to do. Well, he's not really a teenager, he's more like 25, but eh, whatever. Um, just, he's a pretty cool guy, and honestly, he is one of my favorite designs, probably, because it's, like, very, not necessarily, like, ethereal in a way, but... It still doesn't look necessarily human, but I'm sorry for the long wait on my videos. I have had these these two drawings done for probably about three months now, but I just never could get around to doing a voiceover. But hopefully I'll get um, a couple drawings out soon, like within the next few weeks, because I have one of Luke and Zen. I have, um, I think I have another one done, maybe. I have a couple drawings that might go on a Twitter or Instagram. I don't know if they can go on either of them, really. Because they're kind of not safe for work. I mean, everything that needs to be covered is covered, but it's still uh, very iffy. Um, but, and then I have, I think I'm working I'm working on some Spider-Man themed art right now. Just my Spider-Sona, because that's fun. But back to Thorn. Thorn's a cool dude. I was trying out some new, like, shading techniques for this drawing. And I like how it turned out to an extent. I still need a lot of work on shading, obviously. And that's basically it for Thorn. And then we're switching over to Jack, which... ...character without using a reference or a pose base or something. So it's not great, in my opinion. I'm not really th- too thrilled with how Jack's design turned out, but... Jack is Thorn's high priest. He actually grew up in a cult. Not related to, not related to Thorn. Well, kind of. It was one of the other siblings. He was part of the cult of Amora. Amora is the goddess of love. He grew up there. Very crappy cult. Um, just not, not a fun place to be. But eventually he meets Thorn and they escape. Well, he meets Thorn when he's like 16. Um, Thorn helps him back home, realizes he's in a cult, and is like, I'm dipping, I would hang out with you because you're cool, but I'm dipping because this is not, not where I want to be. And then a couple years later, um, they meet up again when Jack is like 25, roughly, 26, something like that, somewhere around that age, and they leave together, and that is when Jack's eye, he used to have two green eyes, but when he made the pact with Thorn, sort of like, take CL Phantom High Black Butler vibe, his eye just kind of got yeeted into another dimension he got replaced with an eye that looks very similar to thorns so yeah but i'm like i love how it's like one of my favorite drawings recently and then one of my least favorite drawings recently are both together so yeah um (laughs) and i just gave up for backgrounds on these two i drew him the same time i was drawing zen's so I just said, screw backgrounds. But yeah. I tried to make it look like something, but I... He looks like he's a mullet. <laughs>